In this video, I'm going to talk about advanced bookmarking in Music Player Remix 2.0. We've implemented some really exciting bookmarking features within the app that I wanted to demonstrate to you guys. So let's go ahead and load the bookmark screen, which is going to be a list of all of the, the manual bookmarks that you've saved within the app. And it's going to sort it by song name, so they're all grouped together, and it's going to show you which bookmarks are saved within that song. But let's go ahead and load a new list, and we'll save some bookmarks. So I'll load this album by Mariah Carey, and I'm going to load the third song within that album. And let me go ahead and pause it. Now, when I'm listening to the song, if there's a favorite part of the song that I'd like to remember and go back to very easily, I can just save a bookmark um, by tapping up here, and it's been saved. Um, or if I'm listening to an audio recording, such as a podcast or a lecture or an audio book, and I wanted to save chapter markers, I can really quickly and easily do that as well. And if you notice, there are little visual cues of where there are bookmarks within this song. And anytime I load any song with bookmarks, um, it's going to show you down here where they're located. So it's a really uh, nice way to know that you have bookmarks within a song. And if I want to go to a particular bookmark or chapter, I could just hit next, and it's going to go there automatically. And so it's a very easy way to restore your chapters or your bookmarks within an audio file. Um, and when you save bookmarks, not only does it save the position within the song, it's going to save the position of the track within the list that you're listening to. So right now I'm listening to song number three of this album. And so let me go to another song real quick. Okay. Now let me restore that bookmark. And there it is right there. So I'll restore the second bookmark at three minutes, eight seconds. And it's going to restore at that position, but it's also going to restore the position within the track. So it's at track number three still within this album, which is nice. So any type of list you're, listen you're listening to, whether it be a playlist, a genre, an album, an artist, a fly list, it's going to remember where you were in that, in that track uh, in the order that uh, they normally appear within that list. Um, so let's talk about auto bookmarks. Auto bookmarks are a very easy way for you to remember where, where you were um, um, when you were listening to a particular um, song or list. So there are two different types of auto bookmarks. The first one is when you're closing the app and you're listening to a particular song in a particular list, it's going to remember where you were in that song automatically. So you don't have to set a bookmark to do that. So let's go ahead and load um, the faves list here. And I have a few items in there. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll get to this part of the track right here, 2 minutes, 20 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and close the app. Let it finish playing. OK. And let me load the app again. And now I'm going to have a resume play button up here. And I can just tap resume play. And it's going to load that list. And it's going to remember where I was. So I'm still within the same playlist that I was in, but I'm also at the same position. So it basically lets you resume where you left off. And there, there's an option in the Preferences menu to auto-resume when you first load the app. So instead of having to hit the Resume Play button, if you want to auto-resume as soon as you load the app, it can do that as well. So that's one type of auto-bookmark. Um, uh, auto the other type is... Anytime you load a fly list or playlist, it's going to remember where you were in that list. So let's go ahead and load a fly list. So I have this one with these three items. And let me go ahead and load that one. So right now, let's go to maybe track number three. Okay, and let's go. So we're at 2 minutes 20 seconds. And I'm within this fly list right here. So let me go ahead and load another list. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I was at about maybe 220, 230 within that file, and I was within the file called Curiosity. Now, I've loaded a completely different list. Now, automatically, it has saved my position within that fly list. So if I go back, you know, it could be a day later, a week later, a month later, and I hit the little bookmark icon, it's going to resume where I left off within that list. So it's at Curiosity at about 225. And for every single fly list and playlist that you have on the device, it's going to remember where you were within that list. 
So anytime I want to go back to a particular list, I can either start the list new by tapping on it, so I've started it again, or I can go back and I can hit resume, and wherever I was within that list, it's going to remember and it's going to resume where I left off. So this is an incredibly powerful way to keep track of your playlists um, and fly lists on your device. You don't have to remember to save bookmarks every time you're in a, a list. It's going to remember for you. Um, so it's a really handy tool and it's a really cool feature to have to not have to remember about bookmarking. But if you want to do bookmarks manually, you can still do them up here as well. Um, so that's advanced bookmarking within Music Player Remix 2.0.